Home is where the heart is, but now more than ever, it's also where the technology is. While some gadgets promise to make our homes dreamscapes of sophistication, others are just there to get fluff out of our carpets. To make sense of these two extremes, here's our gadget guy, John Buckley. John, thank you Good for morning. coming in. Good we're going to start, though, talking about lights, aren't we? Yes, um, we've cleaners. got these wireless, colourful lights from Philips, which you can control through an app, and I think we've got a, a little clip to show how they actually work. You can use Hue however you want, be it creative, fun, or functional, all via your smart device. This is how Hue can help you get to sleep. And this is how Hue can wake you up naturally in the morning. This is how Hue can be a better guard dog than your guard dog, by making it look like your home, even if you're miles away. And this, this is what happens to Hugh when you leave it in the hands of your kids. Whoa, that's wow. it's brilliant. So everything operated by your smartphone. Yes, so uh, we've got three different bulbs here which can go any color at all, but it's got a central hub which you plug into your Wi-Fi, and then once your Wi-Fi is connected to this and you've got the app, away you go. You can change the color of the house, you can yeah, do, do security, which we showed earlier as well. Well, the color's all quite fancy. I mean, because when I first saw this, I said, why not just plug them in and flick the switch? The security yeah. aspect is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So what's can you really do that from smart? across the world? Yes, you can. You can connect over the internet. But what I really like about this as well is it knows where your smartphone is. So if you're coming home after a day's work, it can actually sense you're in the neighborhood and turn the lights on to welcome you home. It's really clever. Wow. Do you know what I also thought? Can you imagine when you're about to sing happy birthday to someone and you wanted to like put on a special light and you could just be like, it'd be quite cool. Yeah. Like for a birthday. Yeah. I think they're really carried away. You don't like that idea. No, I think it's a great idea. I'm just trying to think of slightly more sort of widely practical uses. Right. I'm thinking this of like the, homely stuff. This is yeah. the beginning of us moving to a technology where the entire lighting system is all through the phone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You, you consider cool. those really expensive systems that you have to install, which are in tens of thousands, and this is like $279, and you've got your own remote Three control bulbs. light. And can you add more bulbs to this one yeah. system? Up to about 50, I believe. Right, so you could do the yeah. whole house basically with this one yeah. system. Yeah, as long as they're screw fit. Don't forget, not the bayonet mount. Okay, F absolutely fantastic. Love it. Yep. How interesting. Now, vacuums. These haven't changed much, have they? This looks the same, but well, is it? Which one's this? this I reckon they have. That's the Bissell. So what we've got is... Does it yourself? Is that meant to do it like no, that? No, you're supposed to actually steer oh. that one. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Watch out. So, okay. Yeah. So you're meant to steer this one. Yeah. Yeah, so look... Shall I do this? While you're talking? Do you know how to use a vacuum cleaner? You can cleaner? still hear us. So we've got three cordless vacuum cleaners, which are all bagless and cordless. And as you can tell, that one's quite noisy, but that's probably uh, really good for getting stuff out of the carpet. Uh, we've got a Bissell Air Ram, we've got an Electrolux Ultra Power and a Dyson Digital Slim. So they, they're all similar, but they all do different things. And none of them have got bags. I know that there'll be some people yeah. out there saying they don't have a bag, will they have the same suction? Yes, look, the, the Bissell doesn't, none of them have a bag, but that Bissell actually, it, the suction is very close to the bin container and it compresses all of the, the stuff that comes in. So okay. when, you, when you get a kind of a briquette of fluff that you can put in the bin. Um, yeah, that, that one's brand new. The Electrolux Ultra Power, it's kind of similar, but you can see there's a style difference here. So we go from the functional Bissell to the stylish Electrolux, which looks a little bit like it's the quite Dyson. Stuck. There you go. Quickly. How are you finding it, Rawdon? I mean... Yeah. Oh, this is good. Now, I know about this one because mm -hmm. we got one of these and it is absolutely brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. it's, but it is, it's basically like a glorified dust buster, which, which yes. you can stand up with because so, uh, yeah. it doesn't last that long. So no. you wouldn't use it as your main vacuum cleaner, would you? No, both of these ones, the Electrolux and the Bissell, you would have as a replacement for your vacuum. Okay. This one is great for short bursts. Uh, they last about 40 or 50 minutes, whereas this one you're going to get 8 to 12 minutes. If, you were, if you're pressing it all the time, but you don't. You, it's designed to just... Use it as you need it, you know, for Just little, little spills. spills. And what this one does that the other two don't do, of course, is it can separate off and it becomes a little dust buster for the car and things like that. Okay. So that will just suck up the rice all the same, just like that? That would still work uh, like a normal vacuum cleaner. And this is the only one where you could actually 
get up to the cobwebs, of course. Oh, if there's uh, rice on the ceiling. You could do it with um, those two, but I, I wouldn't advise They're it. not cheap, though, are they? I mean, we're talking Dustbuster, be re being realistic, because you're paying for a lot of the style as well, the classic sort of Dyson style yeah. and that sort of thing. Uh, each of these is between $500 and $600, so the Dyson's $599, yeah. each of those is $499. Uh, but they're good alternatives to a full-size vacuum cleaner, which mm. you'd have to plug in and lug around the house. And you're right, and when you've built something small like a patch of rice. You don't yes. really want to lug out the whole vacuum cleaner. Just give it a quick visit. Look, look, it angles like that. Isn't that clever? Can we see that? Yeah. It's good for getting oh, under things. Nice. Oh, it's got lights. It's got you can vacuum in the dark. OK, that's the man's vacuum. <laughs> the Ferrari. And then you can go around the corner. And it works the up. same on the um, hard surfaces Brilliant. as the carpet? Yes, all, okay. all of these are designed to work on uh, multiple surfaces. What I like most about that Electrolux, <laughs> it's got a, a cutter in the brush, so you know when it gets tangled with hair and stuff? Yep. Uh, you can actually step on that and press the button and it will cut the hair out Releases automatically. Fantastic. John Buckley, thank you for sharing that with us today. You're welcome. Yes, and of course you can find make, model, prices and etc. for all the products on our website at tvnz.co.nz and then visit the breakfast page.